This movie tells a story about a disgraced cop with relationship issues who is assigned the task of transporting a criminal to Japan leading to disastrous consequences. From the get-go, there was this persistent made for TV5 that it gave off, which was annoyingly off-putting. In fact, a serialized small-screen version of this concept should have been the way forward for this film. Donnie Yen dons a cringe-inducingly fake fat suit to play the fat version of his character. If the suit were meant to be funny, those bits do not land. The screenplay has a forgettable plot that becomes increasingly silly and tonally uneven. The romance between Donnie Yen's character with Chloe feels like a tack on subplot that's merely there to add unnecessary padding to what's essentially a B-movie. If only the screenplay were more witty and took more risk without taking itself seriously and resorting to juvenile slapstick humor, it would have at least been a guilty pleasure, albeit a mindless one. Despite being marketed as a martial arts comedy, the film's jokes fall flat and the action does not deliver. On a visceral level, the action sequences quickly turn tedious with poor attempts at generating humor and excitement. The plot moves fast at least and there's plenty of loud action, but that's not nearly enough to keep audiences engaged. In an age revolutionized by action action films like Ong Bak and The Raid, it's truly disappointing to see a martial arts film headlined by Donnie Yen not delivering on its action. There were a few minutes of decent action spectacle in the beginning and the end, but for the most part, it was not up to the mark. There are no surprises or any memorable scenes that stand out. The performances overall are not anything to write home about either. Donnie Yen seems slightly miscast here in this comedic role, so much so that his performance here seems rather stilted and awkward. This is a wasted opportunity. Considering all the superior action comedies delivered in the past by the likes of Jackie Chan and Stephen Chow, this was a major step down in terms of quality. Furthermore, it was utterly disappointing to see him being underutilized both as an action star and a dramatic actor. It's ultimately a pointless waste of time. This movie feels like Kung Fu Hustle minus the laughs and thrills. So what is the end result of this tragic misfire? Well, a derivative action comedy which delivers on neither front. This is a bad movie.